No, I said sit down, okay? Here you go. <laughs> okay. I'm recording a video, honey, so you gotta... Okay, you wanna chill out? Alright. So the concept of free will versus predestination. Um, the major problems I have with the concept uh, is that there is such a thing as free will and there is such a thing as predestination. It's just, that's just the way it is. The problem is that free will as a concept, as a doctrine, is evil. Okay, you have your, you do your own free will. You are no longer doing the will of God unless your free will is in alignment with God's will and therefore you're not doing your will, you're doing the Father's will anyway. Jesus Christ never did his own will, he always did the will of the Father. He had, Jesus Christ had a free will, he just never exercised it. Everybody has a free will, they just don't exercise it. God has a predestined, God sees everything from a predestined perspective. That basically means that God knows everything. He knows exactly what's going to happen at any given time. He sees the future, he sees the past, he sees the present, he's everything all at once. And you're being a black. <laughs> he sees everything all at once, and uh, because of that, everything to him is predestined. Um, everything from God's perspective is always predestined. Um, and the baby is really frustrated. I'm going to set you down. Play with your toys. Okay. Um, so, because everything is predestined, um, there is... You can't say that there is um, not predestined, or there is not free will. Um, to do your own will is to do to not do God's will. Uh, there are many that are called, but few chosen, uh, and there shall be a, many that are faithful. Um, there's the called, many, uh, many will say to me now the last time, saying, Lord, <laughs> okay, baby. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Many will say unto me in those last days, saying, Lord, Lord, have I not cast into heaven so many miraculous things? But the Lord himself is saying, Do you get away from me or the I know you're not. And uh, those are the called. They are the ones that believe that Jesus Christ died for the sins, but will not humble themselves to all scripture. They will not humble themselves to all scripture. There are the chosen or the elect. Um, there in the Greek it's the same word. E eclectos, I believe is how I don't know. That's how you pronounce it. That's how you pronounce that I read. Eclectos um, and uh, the elect e eclectos or the called or the chosen or the elect is um, those people that not only believe that Jesus Christ died for the sins, but they also believe all the scripture that is in the Bible. Um, they may not do it all the time. That means they're not. They sometimes submit to their own will and not to God's will. Most of the time, they just you know, sometimes they submit to God's will, and not their own will. Just, they're doing the best they can, but they believe all scripture. Because they believe all scripture, Jesus Christ can die for all their sins. The only move from the book is not to believe all scripture. If you take away the words that are written in this book of prophecy, so shall you make eternal life. And then there are the Chosen, you run down again. Okay. <laughs> there are the chosen, or the the uh, the faithful. Okay, we just went through the called, the chosen, and the faithful. The faithful are the ones that believe all scripture, or that believe that Jesus died for their sins. They believe all scripture, and they do all scripture. Um, these are the ones that God is really talking about when he comes to predestination, because he knows exactly what they're going to do. In fact, God knows what everybody's going to do. That's why he says predestination. They are predestined because God can see it. He lives outside of time and space. He sees everything as if it's on a timeline. From the beginning of time to the end of time, He knows every choice we're going to make before we even make it. The thing is, is that we are honest and just God. He has to give us the free will choice to either do His will or His own will. It is ungodly to do our will. Therefore, free will is an ungodly doctrine. But it is still a thing that actually exists. You can do your own free will, because Jesus Christ himself said, not my will, because he had free will, not my will, but thine will be done. So, anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. Church fell away, there's you rock, man, I, I think you're awesome. Just this concept, man, I just don't agree with you on. Uh, free will is, is real, You have everybody has it, it's just not godly to use it. You should be doing God's will, not your own. Um, but it is a real, it is a real thing, whether you want to believe it or not. It's something you can't avoid. 
free will is sin nature. Just how it is. So, um, I will talk to you later. Take it easy. And God bless. And, and by the way, um, Church of Illinois, I, I think you're awesome. And uh, I just disagree with you on this subject. So I will talk to you shortly. Take it easy.